Hey, it's Arit here with Esatino Media, helping you create profitable content. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create and use radio buttons, fillable radio buttons on your PDF. I'm using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC for the software to make this fillable worksheet. And I just finished designing this worksheet for one of our clients. As you can see here, people need to be able to rate themselves on a scale of one to five. So if you don't want your users to choose more than one option, then radio buttons are a great way to do that. So let me show you how to create these radio buttons. First thing is you wanna open up your PDF in the Adobe Acrobat Pro DC software. I'll put a link down in the description below so you can check it out if you don't have the software. If you're gonna be creating a ton of fillable PDFs, it's a really good investment to have. I'm gonna go over to see where it says more tools. It's like a wrench and a plus sign. And we're gonna look for prepare form. So click on this right here where it says prepare form and then hit the start button. So what it's gonna do is it's going to detect any fields that it's going to automatically fill in for you, but it doesn't always do it correctly. So this is where we need to go in and fill this, fill this up. So I'm gonna just zoom in here and get rid of all these. I'm clicking and dragging and then I just hit the delete button on my keyboard because I want to create these radio buttons here. So I'll show you how to create one of them and to duplicate them. So at the top bar here you'll see this circle button. It does look like a radio button. I'm going to click on that and then place this wherever you want here. So when I click down it's going to place that for me there. Now the next thing we're going to do is hit all properties and then in here is where you can start to customize it so you can select you see it says button style you can select circle you can actually change it to be a cross so if somebody selected that it will show an X mark in there or a check mark if you want people to see a check mark instead of a circle you can also change it to a square as well so you can come in here and play with the button style but this part is really important. You see here where it says to create a set of mutually exclusive radio buttons where only one can be selected at a time, give the fields the same name but different button choices. So if we didn't do this, I'll show you what this means, but if we're not doing this, then people will be able to select one, two, and three, or you know multiple selections across this. But we don't want that, we want to avoid this. So. First select your button style and you can come in here to the appearance tab as well and customize it. Maybe you don't want that black border, you want no border, you want a different fill color. So once you're happy with that, just hit the close button and we're gonna duplicate this. So I'm gonna right click on it, hit copy, and then right click again and then hit paste. So I will now click and drag this into place and make sure you're happy with the styling beforehand before you go and duplicate this because that will save you a ton of time to go back and readjust the way that it looks. If you're not sure how it looks uh, because of all the, the text and stuff on it, you can always hit preview, the preview button on the top right, and you can see how it looks right now. So let's hit the edit button to go back. I'm going to click and drag so that it selects both of those. Right click, hit copy, right click, hit paste, and again, just move those into place. We'll, we'll adjust them so that they're all aligned later. And then do the same thing here. Copy, right click, paste. All right, so let's zoom in now so we can see what we're working with. Now to adjust the size of the box, you can always click and drag these little circles over here. Like for example, maybe you want it to fill in the entire box, right? But if you don't have that, and you wanna keep it like this and you wanna align it, then all you need to do is click and drag to select all of those buttons there. And then you see where it says align in the middle right here, this selection, I'm gonna click on that and you'll see it brings them all up so that it's in line. Now here is the important part. You then need to go into each of these radio buttons and change the names of them. So let me go to, I right clicked and hit properties and remember this message to us here, it says if we want them to be mutually exclusive, give the fields the same name but different button choices. So if I go to the general tab here, for this one, I want all of them to have the same name, group two, which they do right now. 
but I want them to have different button choices. So going back to the options tab, see where it says radio button choice? This is where you're going to make each of them different. So this one can stay at choice one, but I'm gonna close this and double click here and change this one to choice two. So again, the general, just to double check, it's the same group name, but this right here has to be different. So I'm gonna close that and do the same for all of them. So go back in here, hit three, double click here, hit four, and then five. So when you go to preview it, you should only be able to select one of these. It's mutually exclusive, right? And so for the other lines as well, if we hit edit, you can go and click and drag for these boxes here, right click, go copy, right click, paste so that, oh, whoops, it selected. I'm just gonna hit delete on those. But for these, I can move these back into place. But when you do that, for the subsequent rows, make sure you change the group name now to group three, for example. And all of these need to be changed to group three. But they can still have the same, you know, choice one, choice two, just as long as they are under a different group name. So that's how you do radio buttons. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you need help designing your own worksheets, your own forms, I'm happy to do so. I'll put my contact information down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.